Hey everyone, this is Lucky70x. Welcome back to Let's Play Jay Cocoon 2. In the last episode, we took on the Earth Force, but we weren't able to finish it again. And uh, in this episode, we are going to hopefully finish it, and we'll have ourselves a new Gara. Kill! Kill! Yay! Killing! Yay! Exciting! Yay! What do we have here, anyway? Is this who I think it's going to be? It is. It's PK. Well, that's annoying, because as you remember, these guys tend to use Barrier. Uh, I just have mine using Ramakia instead. But uh, we're going to have a Barrier going up that's going to be really obnoxious. So, uh, Beridia, it's a B-level move. It's going to be a fairly strong Barrier that should honestly take two of my attacks. So, it's just going to kind of, you know how this kind of goes now. We just kind of sit here and wait for the Barrier to break and all that jazz. It's kind of silly, so I'm just going to go ahead in here. It's probably going to put the barrier back up now. Yeah. You know how these guys go. They tend to waste a lot of MP if they're stupid shenaniganry. So what I'm going to do here is just get my defense up, and then I'm going to go ahead and... Uh... Also, in case you notice, I'm weakening the barrier as well on top of that. Um, which will let me... Okay, that'll break that. I can go into... Uh... My fire formation now. Hopefully little Fu can break the barrier on her own. And I can then proceed to hit him with two limit breaks. Or okay, his barrier is gone. This is probably gonna kill. Oh no! Okay, well, that's good. Uh I guess his barrier I I'm not sure actually. I guess the barrier maybe just survived. Or did, did, did Gaia kill it on her on on the own? Really? I I'm a little surprised. I'm going slower than it actually has a benefit in that way, I guess. So That'll break that. Uh, we'll just go into here to finish him off, honestly. So, everyone gets experience. Everybody has dinner that night. It's all pretty good. So, barriers are always annoying. We already know that. I'm going to have to give Gaia some MP here because Gaia is in desperate need of it. But there we go. Another comma given. I could give someone barrier if I so choose. It's not really something I'm appealing that appeals to me quite yet, but I will give someone a barrier move eventually, because it is a useful move to have. I just find an offensive move, and having a... What should I call it? Having a... I'm totally, like, brain-deading what I'm supposed to be saying here. Having a defensive move and having an offensive move is better, and I prefer Remakia as my defensive move. There, that's what I'm trying to say, basically. So, there's that. Uh, mushroom guy, don't care. Let's go in here. Is this going to be our boss yet? No. But we will get a shield book, because we care about that. Not really. Can you just, like, walk past here? I'm a completionist. I want this little piece of thing filled in my radar. Hey, so it's one of these guys normally. I guess we can go ahead and show this fight off, just for funsies and gigglies. Uh, so we got one of these guys. We have initiative, so let's just hit him hard. As you can see, that one of the mushroom guys comes with him. And you don't want to be taking a hit from those mushroom guys. They hurt, so don't. It's just not a good time. So we're going to kill the barrier guy right away. We'll blind this guy. Uh, you, you know how it works at this point. We blind him. We'll go into Scooter to get some uh, healing going on. Then we'll go into Earth Formation to finish him off, hopefully. That's the plan, at least. So he's going to go here. Hopefully miss. Yep. Uh, we'll get a little bit of healing going here. I still do need to give... Uh, a little bit MP assistance to, uh, actually to a little Foo as well, I guess. Because they're, bo I guess she'll get, she'll gain enough MP back in these next couple turns to be okay, though. Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm a little worried, concerned about MP for the boss's sake, but, you know, I think it'll be okay. So this guy's just gonna do a normal attack, it doesn't really matter. We'll just head into, uh, we'll just head into here. A D-level move isn't gonna drain little Foo's MP too much, and we'll be okay. So, there we go! We're good to go. And that takes care of that fight. Uh, any more level ups before we go? Not really. So, without further ado, let's go find our boss. It's going to be exciting and fun and interesting, clearly. Uh, is this going to be the boss right here? Indeed it will be. So, another Earth boss. Earth bosses are scary. We've had a lot of issue with them before, so... Um, this one is no exception. This one's a pretty tricky one, so... Let's prepare ourselves mentally for this one. Who do we have today? A seal in the ground, Kai, who's like, Yo, what is that, yo? It's 
a shiny thing, yo, because he clearly talks like this, yo, 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 yo. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, Kahu, you and your pointy hat. I want to see someone cosplay as Kahu in like a convention or something like that. That would be fun. Jacob can represent, man. This game is underrated. But it's a creepy mushroom thing! As you can imagine, it's the evolved form of the mushroom guy, which means we have something to worry about because those attacks hurt like the dickens! And we do not want to be taking one of those to the face, so... What we're going to want to do, like we do for every boss... Well, actually, I want to go ahead and hit him hard, because if he is going to be like that, I want to hit him pretty decently hard. I'm not sure, he's probably going to use a defensive boost move, but I want to just get in some good damage while I can, so... Yep, Viridia. That's to be expected, I guess. So, what I want to do here, I'm a little, I think I can just go ahead and uh, fry his barrier. And I'm a little concerned as to what, if he is a mushroom guy, he might try to set up a thing here, but I do want to get some decent damage in on him right now. Yeah, here comes the save up. So we're going to want to go, uh, I'm, I'm debating if I, like, I want to do this, but if this hits, it's going to be really bad, so please blind him and please miss the attack. Okay, there's the blind. Please, for goodness sake, miss. Thank you. Uh, scooter ceiling tends to be pretty good against dodging those attacks. Now, I want to be playing it's... Oh, he has that as well. That's concerning because that's going to do a lot of MP damage. We want to keep him blinded basically as much as possible to dodge both of those attacks. Because I don't want to be getting hit by, by that either. So we're going to want to keep a perpetual blind up on him. We're also going to want to keep a perpetual defense up as well. So let's go ahead and hit him hard while he doesn't have a barrier up here once again. Although, well, if he gets a barrier up, we can break the barrier and then keep him blinded. So it's kind of a balance between breaking barriers and keeping him dead. So our defense is still up here. However, his blind's about to run out, I believe. And also, I just uh, got this confused. So that's also kind of an issue. But we can go ahead and blind him once more. Our defense boost is up, so I feel like I can take a hit anyway. A little food might not be able to, but uh, with the blind up, we should be okay. As much as I want to go in and... Okay, actually, I want to get in here and I want to get my defense up as well in case he goes for another one of those. It's really just a game of keeping your uh, your defense up and, your, and hopefully him missing all these psycho attacks because I don't want to run out of MP. And also, uh, the Confusion run eventually, I want to get a status healing move to deal with that at some point, but I don't have that quite yet, so keep that in mind. Um, to anyone I want to go into here, more damage, it seems like the best bet. I'm a little worried about Gaia hitting herself, but she's tanky enough where it's not that big a deal. She has enough health to really sort of take it anyway, so like, that didn't do much to her at all. So here's the save up, the blind's going to run out, but the defense is on, so... Once again, we risk the uh, this attack coming in here. That's kind of the name of the game here, but we're slowly wearing him down. Do you need to get a turn in with Scooter at some... Oh god, he didn't get blinded. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Thank goodness for Ramakia, because that probably would have killed otherwise. In that case, let's go ahead and get some uh, healing going on here. That was scary. Oh great, he's going for it again. And I don't have my defenses up, so I'm going to actually switch into here. I'm going to take this hit because I'm fairly sure one of my two tanks can handle it. And I don't feel very safe with the idea of going for the blind right now. Because, yeah, that's actually a hit I can do. Ramaki has another a fairly decent counter as well, so as long as I have both of those up, I feel pretty safe. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to go straight for the kill. I might If Gaia doesn't hit herself, I can probably get the kill right here. And indeed, I do have a critical! Gaia does not care to be confused. Gaia just kicks butt and takes names regardless. So, experience for everyone! Yay! Level max, and uh, no level 19 for Tamal, which is interesting. I'm assuming he's going to be really close to that, though. So I'd like to get him to level 19 before I end this, just because I want to get him to that. Yeah, he is close enough. Uh, ceiling's pretty far away, so I'm not worried about that. Scooter is also fairly far away, so I'm not going to worry about getting a anyone else to another level until uh i'm not gonna worry about it really so we got a brilliant gem a brilliant gem we gotta get lots of money today and rhizomes are for leafs correct yeah so we're not gonna be able to boost anyone's strength right now unfortunately but what can you do that's just the name of the game so let's get ourselves a key spore and let's finish up the rest of this level and we will be good to go 
So we have the Earth boss defeated, but we still have a few places to explore. So let's just go ahead and uh, clear out some of our items as well. Do 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 do. Get rid of all the items because they're kind of annoying. Get rid of more shield books because they're also kind of annoying. I'm um, just use my mole extras because I can buy more. And uh, does the food need? Nah, food's okay. Uh, Guy is definitely the biggest problem with MP right now, and that's to be expected. So we don't need this either. This will give us some items left over for us to just go ahead and uh, finish this area. And then we can start another forest. I'm not actually decided yet on uh, whether I'm going to do wind or water next, because I don't really have any Kalma I specifically need from those forests currently. Uh, because all my next mergers are not going to deal with those, and I'm not going to get another merge in the meantime, so... I'm pretty okay to go. Is there a comma I haven't gotten yet on this? I'm trying to think of like all the comma on uh, the Earth, and I feel like I've gotten practically all of them. Which I mean, hey, that's fine with me. Oh, hey, are you? Am I going to fight Sir, you? Do you know about evolved forms? Guess not. Of course. Evolved forms are the divine beasts created when normal divine beasts evolve. That evolved seems pretty self-explanatory. Beast, huh? But how do you make them? You've made like three of them. You have a Mago. Jeez. Let me just say that the secret lies in the other beasts used in merging. That's all? You just don't know. How rude. Okay. This is a secret, remember. Let me say this. Once you find out how to make an evolved form, do it immediately. Making an evolved form quickly will make it even stronger. And having a Mago is even better. So... That's why I give a Mago to everyone. Do you have anything else Above to say? Above the evolved form, there also seems to be a most evolved form. Indeed. That most evolved form. We've seen a few of those before. All the bosses are most evolved forms. We'll be getting those eventually, and it'll be pretty glorious once we have a bunch of most evolved forms. They're they're fairly strong. So, that's the end of the Earth Force. We made that through that in a relatively good time, so I'm pretty pleased. Uh, we got ourselves with common we need, and we're at the final Earth Forest, uh, finally. So, we'll be taking care of that in several episodes from now, because I'm nowhere near ready to take care of one of those yet. But, we are going to have a lot of merging right now, and uh, then we'll start one of the two forests, like I said. So, it shall be fun times. So, first step first, let's just go ahead and uh, take care of our merging and whatnot, because we do need to do that. And, uh, then all the inventory stuff and we'll return our job and all that stuff. Anything about Divine Beasts, leave it to me! Yay! So, what do we got here? Uh, Drag Killer is kind of a useless thing to have, so that's kind of silly. Um, not a bad combination of things, but, yeah, it may cover so it uh, does up defense as well. That makes sense, then. Uh, not really anything useful. That's kind of a good thing to have, but it's nothing I'm really intending to use, and... That's nothing I really need either. So, in the end, the B Earth moves are kind of a bit underwhelming. Uh, mostly just want Ramakia. So, well, we have to hatch things. I'm fairly sure I don't have either of these. Or no, I have the Holy of Fish, don't I? Let's just check the bees. Also, it's a good thing to check anyway, because I need to merge Shadow Mario as well. So, we'll have to do that too. But, uh, are you... You're a Cetalfitch. You're the one, right? I can't tell, actually, if you're... Which one you are. Huh. I'm assuming I actually have one of those ones. I'm trying to think, because I have that, I have that. Meh. I don't really need to hatch that one. I'll hatch the Gara one, though, at least. And we'll name that after someone, so... I'm kind of running out of LPers. I actually, I still have another one. Or two or three, so of my peoples to name them after. So we'll, I don't have to resort to people I don't know as well yet. That's cool. So we have ourselves a blue Gara. It's pretty exciting. Uh, a water type Gara if we ever need one, but we're not. So uh, we'll name you after Shothrox because yeah. And the other one I need to make sure I actually have not hatched that one before, because I'm fairly sure I have. I don't actually remember what kind of divine... I, I, it was, was a couple episodes ago, I don't remember what I got there. But, uh, it's fine. We're just gonna go ahead, do 
do this and go from there. So, uh, let's get to merging. So, we don't need to merge you, but we pretty much need to merge everyone else. So, Tamal is the obvious one right now. Uh, we're going to merge with a B-level fire move. Specifically, the one that gives us Imago. That's a fairly self-explanatory as to why I'm doing that. It's Imago. And it's a, as we've seen, Limit Break is a very good move as well. So, it's really a win-win. Uh, it's one of the stronger fire moves you can get, and it comes with an amazing ability. There's really no reason we shouldn't give it to everyone. Uh, I will probably be giving other fire... I'll, I mean, I'll give him an S-rank fire move at some point, but for now, we don't need to worry about it. Because the next thing I'm going to give him is probably going to be an A-rank win move, so I can switch him back over with Little Foo, because I do want Little Foo to be in the middle. Just because when she's in that corner, she's pretty vulnerable, I've noticed. So I think this is actually putting the squish ones in the middle. Also, because of Imago and because we give another merge, we have Tamal's new form! He practically has a wiener. I've never noticed that before, and now I can never unsee it. But yeah, Tamal, you've become a freak of nature. Have fun with that. Oh boy. Oh boy, what have I done? So, uh, next merge is going to be Ceiling. We can merge him with... Uh, actually, we're not going to go with another win move. We're going to go with a Fire move. This one. Because we're giving him a Mago as well, and that's the way to give him a Mago. I don't think I need. Another, I don't. There's not a B level blind anyway, so I'm not too concerned about missing out on that. Um, it's more important to just take this time to actually give him a Mago. It's probably. It's gonna be the best time to give him a Mago. So we're gonna just go ahead and give him a Mago because a Mago. Everyone gets a Mago. You get a Mago, and you get a Mago, and you get a Mago. Yay! Fun time. So, there's that. I do need to actually make sure I can... I might want to merge... Uh, I'm probably going to merge that one other guy that I have. The uh, the leaf that I was thinking of replacing PK with. Because I should keep up with him. He's the one guy... I'm, he's the one other guy I'm going to train on the side, I think, currently. Because I need to save my money otherwise. Once I start getting a lot of money, I can start doing more merges. But, yeah. So, another merge today. We're going to merge Scooter. And uh, this one's self-explanatory. We're just basically going to go into the water formation. And there's not a B-level heal, so I'm not too concerned about giving him a C-level heal instead. And water power resisting special t conditions, uh, res res resists, bleh, uh, status effects is pretty good to give to him anyway. So we're going to give uh, basically a C-level heal to Scooter, and that'll be good. And the next thing I can give him then is going to be a A-level heal, hopefully by the time the next merge comes around. So that's pretty good. This is just merge all the people today. Uh, lots and lots and lots of merging. So, it's pretty cool that I do. I'm glad we can get all these merges out of the way. So, Scooter hasn't evolved yet. It'll still be quite a while, but it will happen eventually. So, uh, now he has a C-level heal. Makes his heal a little bit more potent, which is always good. Um, I could have given him the C-level heal that lets him get status conditions, heal status conditions, but I'm going to wait to get that for the A-level heal, just because right now I'm more concerned with getting heal on a... Well, actually, I guess... Yeah, I need to... I probably should have thought about that a little bit more. But I think the A-level heal is probably going to be a little bit better anyway for the, the status condition removing one. It's... Uh, I, I don't have a second healer yet, so I don't want... So it's, it's a weaker heal, basically, than uh, Medina is. So, I want to be careful about that. Anyway, Little Foo does not get a Mago yet, unfortunately, because uh, this is a skill move and it's not really good for her. So, I'm just going to give her this, give her a nice, powerful fire attack, and uh, she can proceed to burn everything, and it'll be glorious. So, our fire side's power just increased dramatically, and I am a big fan of that. So, uh, we're now going to be hitting like a truck in the fire side, even more so. It will be decimating and deadly. It might be a little bit tougher on our MP, but we're actually about to get a solution for that as well. So, all's well, that ends well. The thing is, though, we still have a couple more merges to take care of, so... Yay for us, I guess. Exciting times. So, unfortunately, Little Foo is still stuck as a baby. We're going to have to watch her slowly catch up again. Which is going to be kind of a problem, but uh, I'm going to be giving her Imago possibly by the next merge, so there's that. Uh, at this point, I want to drop off a beast and uh, 
give what's what's his name uh, Shadow Mario a merge as well because that's important. Uh, we can merge him with someone else because he is going to be one of the next people to go on our team. So we merge you. Uh, C moves are the best ones to go for currently. Uh, basically, they both give water power. What did what did, what did uh, this give? Vitality. Uh, I think water power is actually a bit better than vitality. I don't need extra health on uh, on that. I need uh, having the resistance to all stay. Um, the more resistance to stay is even better. Um, and what's this? Wisdom up ten. Eh, I'd rather have the uh, the resistance to status on Shadow Mario as well because he's going to be the offensive part of the water formation. Not a very vital thing to have, but uh, it'll be helpful in the long run. And because of this one, we're also gonna, this will also get him a lot closer to the special, uh, to the full evolution, which is very important that we get to. So, Shadow Mario, you're going to hatch and uh, be in your next form, which I don't think we've even seen this form yet. So, exciting times, we get to see a new form. He hatches, and we get to see the glory that is the third evolution of this type. It's a creepy squid thing! As if he didn't look like hentai enough yet. So, uh, he'll, he'll be useful to have at some point on our team, but uh, I'm not too worried about it currently. So, uh, just giving him basically a chance to get a little bit of... Uh, but that water power is a useful thing to have, like I said, so that'll be nice to have. Uh, finally, I believe I should merge, uh, Sir Neon Mort is at 20, and I do want to make sure I can get him Imago, so, and, uh, I, I do want to perhaps play around with him becoming possibly someone good, so, uh, I'm probably not going to end up using him, to be quite honest, but we'll go ahead and give him Imago, then we'll work on getting him the, uh, A and S rank Ramakia type moves, because those will be coming soon. Oh, this S rank one is B rank one. So depending on when he merges next, we'll probably give him the B rank one, I imagine, and then the S rank one. But yeah, that's the plan for Sir Ina Mort. He could potentially be a part of our team, so I will be merging him as well. Because it'd be cool to have a Leaf, but defensive-wise, Leafs are not as good as Gara's, and I don't think that Magic really matters. They're better at offensively, just not defensively. So keep that in mind, but we have ourselves our own flying peapod now. We've seen the third tier form of these guys anyway, but it's his first merge, so he's not going to be able to reach. You can't, I'm pretty sure you can't reach uh, that extent with just that. So, there's all the merges we have to take care of. It's been uh, quite a lot of time spent solely for merging, but our team is now incredibly enhanced, and I approve of this message, so that's pretty good. Uh, so if we check our Divine Beasts, uh, where, how, how's Madame at? Madame is probably going to be merged at the end of the next section, because she'll get to, uh, and then we'll, she'll be able to get to our team. Actually, because she's going to be merged next, I feel like I should be going to the Wind Forest. Yes, because I should give her something from the Wind Forest. Yes. Okay. I have decided on my course of action. We're going to the Wind Forest, guys. Uh, so... Let's go to Kikinakiko and sell some stuff and all that. Oh, I could have given my deep ribosome to certainly a uh, mort while I had him on. But you know what? If I'm not even going to use him, potentially, I don't really care. So we'll stash the uh, deep ribosome. And how, do I have any Prius stones in here, actually? Forget if I've been saving them. No, not really. I'm not too concerned with that one quest. I mean, reputation stuff is really not important at this point. We have a long way to go, and I'm not in any hurry to add my next member. Uh, I'll probably be Madame, to be quite honest, is going to be my next one. Uh, that's a very realistic possibility. She really just needs two more merges, one for the water side and one for the uh, wind side for that to happen. And she should get that by the time we need her. So, uh, sell, 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 sell. We're not quite at the extent we need for uh, our next thing, but considering we don't have any merges for a while, uh, it's nothing to worry about. So... There's that. Find something good. Holy crap, we have taken forever with this episode. There's not even anything to cut out. It's already been 25 minutes. I'm tempted to just end the episode here. Because there has been so many things to do here. You know, we finished so let's turn in this here. Good job. You're not done yet, right? Actually, I am. I just finished it right now. 
Oh yeah. Seriously? You are a pro. When you do it, you do it. Oh my. You gotta get what's coming though. Of course. There's a reward. Thank you. How about the next job? So, MP back book is kind of interesting. Actually, isn't there someone looking for an MP back book in the thing here? Uh, you're looking. Well, I actually have one of those. That's really tempting to get. Uh, ooh, that's finding groundwork. But as much as I want to get that, it's kind of annoying to get. Uh, I don't want to go back to there. I don't know. I'm debating. Um, we can do this quest quickly, though. I might as well get the extra reputation, and I don't care to use those Inferno books anyway, so we're actually done with this quest. You know, we finished... And extra 2400 gold yeah. will actually get us the next backpack! Job, right? I did it. Excuse me. Oh, I see. Okay, then. Thanks for doing it! Anyway, good job! Yay! Reputation went up 40, so that's exciting. Anything... Uh, do I want to grab this one? I need to think about it. I'm going to take it for now. Which might not be a good idea. I might quite try to quickly do it right now. Because I don't feel like I'm going to the Wind Forest right now. Because that's not... I mean, the episode's already pretty long. So, that might not be in our best interest. Uh, and I might just cancel that quest if I need to. Which is kind of unfortunate, but whatever. Anyway, I'm selling these because guess what, guys? Now that we've finished that, uh, that quest, the shop gets upgraded, and we can now buy Bitter Mugwarts and Metal Extra 5. So I'm going to buy one of these. And, oh, I want to actually, before I do anything, large backpack. Definitely want one of those. Uh, there's Blaze Books and HP Back Plus Books and MP Back Plus Books here. So those are kind of useful. Um, I want to buy... If I can get a third one of those, that'd be awesome, so... What can I sell? Uh, oh, I have a lot of MP back books anyway, so... Let's do one of those, I can do this, and we're pretty much broke now! But we have a larger backpack, which is good. So, I should be able to make enough money by the time this is over, the next level is over to merge Madame if I need to. So, that's good. And, uh... The thing is, I'm gonna see if I can quickly do this quest right now. Just for funsies. So, uh... Oops. Let me put that back in there. But you know what? I don't even care. So, I will... See if it's doable. And I'll meet you guys in a second. Alright. So, I kind of decided that... Going into this quest is just kind of... I don't want to like run into any extra cutscenes or anything. It's kind of hard to avoid them. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang on to this quest. Until, uh... And I'll do Earth first when I do the the re go re through. And as long as there's not any other quests that I need, I can do easily. I see no reason to hang on. To, why not to hang on to this and just do it? So I will deal with this quest later, guys. This will be Lucky Seven DX signing out. I will see you guys in the next episode where I take on the Wind Force because there's a move I want need to get from Madame, so that decides it. Wind Force is. See you guys next time. Bye bye.